Hey you guys, I'm Steven. I'm Giselle. And with Lover's Passport, we just spent the morning at Bernie Falls. getting here for sunrise if you guys are going to do it especially if you want to do photography if you want a slow exposure as soon as the sun comes up you can see the light on the top of the trees here it gets really bright so it's hard to expose or come at sunset those are the best two times to photograph it during the day it's gorgeous it's also probably more busy during the yes. day yes um, we are here and there's no one here so definitely want to come in the off season Fall, no, uh, November and December are considered the off season. It, the path down can get really slippery, so make sure you come prepared with step in. Um, like micro spikes, micro spikes just in case. Or, there's a rail to hold on to, but it does. It was pretty slippery, and it's not even snowing here right now. Right, and also just so you know, it's a ten dollar entrance fee to come in, and it, it was only cash while we were here. So make sure you prepare ahead of time, um, so you can actually enjoy the park. And yes, you can actually camp here too. You can camp here. It's a first come first serve campground at this moment. I don't, I don't know if it's just because of like during post COVID, it's like that, or if it's like people like that before. But right now, it's it's a first come first serve campground. We didn't camp here, but we just drove in this morning. And yeah. yeah, these are right in between Lassen National Park and Mount Shasta. So if you guys are in the area, highly recommend checking this out. It's not like a full weekend thing. You yeah. can. It's if like you, an hour from Reading. Yeah, it's pretty close, and we are also going to be heading to this hike out of Castle Rock. Castle Lake, Castle Lake Trail to Heart Lake Trail. It's next up on the agenda. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be heading over there. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Here we go.
We finally made it. First successful snowshoe and look at that view. Insane. All right, we made it to the top over here. Yo, this place is nuts. <laughs> it was a little brutal coming up in the snow. If you do come up, make sure you bring snowshoes or cross country skis or the little snowboards that can split apart. Right. We saw some regular footprints on the way up, but it would be- They stopped, there's no way. <laughs> it'd be a trek. It was pretty uphill. There was quite a few tracks up here, which was really nice. If you guys don't already, make sure you download the all trails or download this app called Gaia. It's spelled G-A-I-A. -A. Yes, and my dad just gave it to me for Christmas. It's an awesome app. You can actually download areas and it gives you all the map data, the roads, trails. trails, everything. So highly recommend downloading that, but it has an insane view of Mount Shasta. Mount Shasta. Check out some of these shots. It was absolutely insane. We're not even here for sunrise, which is apparently the time you want to be here, but still such a gorgeous area. Yeah, first time snowshoeing, definitely cool. We're very happy we have our um, waterproof shoes on yes. because it is quite powdery, so they've, they've been getting quite covered. We're both wearing our Merrells. So. Yeah, we're both wearing our Merrells and we're wearing Yukon Charlie's Pro Snowshoes. We didn't um, really know when we were searching for snowshoes, like, exactly what to buy because we've never done it before uh -huh. and obviously our eyes are I think a big thing to think open. about when you're buying snowshoes is what kind of terrain you're going to do these are great because the heel lifts so we have a lot uphill. of motion especially when you're going uphill most snowshoes have you locked in is what I saw especially from the beginner ones so make sure you take the time to research are you going to do more like regular flat stuff or are you going to be doing some backcountry incline? incline yeah so we got yeah. the more advanced ones these are the pros I believe it's also by weight Yes, so, I'm a little bit heavier, so I think mine we are actually, a little bigger. No, we actually have the, the same, same ones, but that's only because the ones that were by my weight, they didn't have the heel lift, mm -hmm. and I wanted the heel lift. So, Yeah, so we'll link them down below if you guys are looking to do any snowshoeing. snowshoeing. Highly recommend these. Uh, we are going to be heading out now. We wanted to show you guys two of our favorite hikes, especially during the winter. You can't get to too many hikes around here just because roads are closed, but... Bernie Falls is an amazing spot, and this area. Uh, Castle Lake to Heart Lake Trail. Yeah, we're recommend. definitely definitely gonna try and come back during the spring. When though. this is actually, we're on the lake right now. It's literally frozen over. Yeah, we so. almost passed it. We were hiking, and I was like, "There's no way we gotta go over that ridge." We turned around, and we we're like, "Oh, oops." <laughs> yeah, we were standing on it already. Yeah, it was a super super fun hike though. This is both our first time snowshoeing, and it took us maybe an hour and a half to get up here. An hour, so hour, it wasn't yeah. too bad. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and we will know to make more videos like this in the future. Make sure to go check out our TikTok and our Instagram as well. We post content on there daily where we only post stuff on YouTube about twice, twice a, week. a week. But yeah, if you enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe for more and we will see you on the next adventure.